Hi, this is Mike J. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I think I got some explaining to do. You like this? You guys like this too? Anyways, I went on a, I went on a massive shopping spree. Those of you that have been following my channel for a while now know that I just totally adore Corvettes. I've been wanting one of these C8s since they came out and I've been trying to buy one for a while. I've been on the waiting list for a while and just can't get one. And I finally bought one. It is a pre-owned. It is a 2021 with only 300 miles on it. It is a hard top convertible, 2LT car with a front end lift, and it just drives so different than the old generation. But anyways, this right here, I hate to say it, is more enjoyable to drive than a 760 horsepower Shelby. Anyways, you guys are wondering what I did with the Shelby. I sold it, or actually I traded it for the Corvette. And I got exactly what I paid for it. Of course, the markup is what I had to eat. But they gave me full sticker for my Shelby. So basically, what I did not have to pay in sales tax on the difference of buying this car. I actually made money if you were to compare it to MSRP. So therefore, yeah, I did lose a little bit of money, but I would like this, and I wanted one of these, and now I've got one. I will do a full review on this Corvette, hardtop convertible, but right now I just wanna do a video and explain what I did. Then of course, this was there, at the dealership and it is used and it is a 2022 with only 300 miles three months old and it's a Jeep Wrangler Rubicon extreme recon package this car right here MSRPs for almost $88,000 and I was able to buy this vehicle at a very good price Dealerships are marking these things up to $113,000 to $115,000. This is a SRT co-developed with Jeep, 470 horsepower, 470 pound foot of torque. It's a 6.4 liter, zero to 60, depending on where you get your info from, is four seconds to four and a half seconds, zero to 60 time on a 5,200 pound Jeep. And this thing is like almost 13 inches of ground clearance. So I got rid of the Cherokee and bought this. So they made me a good deal. These cars were purchased used at a pretty much a exotic used car dealership here in North Scottsdale. And uh, they specialize in unique different types of vehicles that you just don't generally you know, go to uh, new car dealerships to buy without paying a premium on them. But of course, there are premium paid on these cars. I did pay more for them, but they are not as bad as if you bought them brand new. But anyways, I will do a full review as well on the Jeep. But anyways, my vet is going to sit up there, but my I kept my C7, my black C7, it's outside in the driveway. But anyways, yes, I did indeed buy both of these cars. Uh, when I made a video that I was gonna buy both, I actually bought both. But anyways, uh, I will do full reviews on both of these vehicles. This right here is a Bronco Raptor killer. This Jeep here is probably the baddest Jeep or baddest SUV that money can buy. Anyways, if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Please like, subscribe, comment, tap the notification bell for future videos, and I will hope to see you in the next one.
I mean, look at this. The clearance. And of course, 392 with a one touch power sliding canvas roof. Thanks for watching. Take care.